Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the Product Specialist with American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Keystone Passport 2810BH. This particular model is in the driftwood interior. This is a great bunk model floor plan. A lot of manufacturers have something that's similar, but I think Passport does a couple of great things and it's really lightweight. Let's go ahead and start off right up front here. One of the first things you'll notice is you have a lot of space here in the walkway. As soon as you come in, you'll see how nice and open it is. It doesn't feel cramped or claustrophobic. Then also in the front, underneath your countertop here, you can see you have some excellent storage. So if you wanna throw some shoes or hats, gloves, things like that in there, uh, that's definitely a good place to do it. Now, one of the other things you will notice is how much countertop space you have. They give you sink top covers, which is really nice, and you have this countertop space over here, which is pretty great. High rise faucet there, and underneath our sink top covers, you have a double bowl sink, larger one on the left, and then the smaller one on the right. Then right over here is your three burner Atwood cooktop. The front one there is high output. You notice you have an under oven underneath if you want to do some baking and then underneath the oven is a huge storage compartment so great place for pots and pans right there underneath the sink itself you will see some good storage right over here and then kind of in that same space different access point you see you have storage right up top here or two really long full extension drawers which have, give you plenty of room for all of your silverware as well as uh, some of your other utensils like your larger spoons spatulas things of that nature uh, you will notice that right over here you have a nice big window let in natural light during the day LED there at night, and you have an electrical outlet. So if you need to plug in coffee maker, toaster, something like that, uh, you can go ahead and use that. Right up top, beautiful woodwork here. You'll see the raised panel cabinetry, brush nickel pulls on there too. We open that up, you see the good storage space there uh, for some extra food items. Microwave right over here, fully functional hood underneath with your light and fan. So you move in a little bit further, you get into the fridge freezer combo. Uh, you can see you have plenty of space here, nice cutout for your taller items. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover, which means if you are running it off propane, as soon as you plug that into shore power, it'll automatically switch over to electric for you, saving you on your propane gas. Now as we move in a little further, one of the other things Passport does very well is give you versatility. And that's exactly what this space is. So you'll notice you have a hanging rod across both cabinets here. Uh, this one though is definitely more meant for wardrobe as the bunks are right behind me. Plenty of hanging space right here. This one, if you want to use as wardrobe, you certainly can, but they give you the shelves here too. So if you want to use this as extra pantry space, you can do that as well. That's personally probably what I would do, but it does give you the option. And then you have an extra cubby hole there right underneath. Right back in the corner is the bathroom. If you take a look here, a couple things, right as soon as you walk in here, you'll see your foot flush lever toilet, good leg room there. Uh, you will also notice your tub. I like having a tub in a uh, bunk model because if you have smaller kids, you want to give them a bath. You see your hand wand there, which makes it nice and easy to shower and a big skylight up top. Also a second entry door, which is great. Uh, so that way, you know, if the kids have to use the bathroom, they can just come right in and do it. Don't have to traipse dirt throughout through their trailer and then go right back out. Here in the corner is the uh, corner vanity and sink top. You'll see you do have some additional storage underneath. Mirrored medicine cabinet there up top uh, with storage behind the mirror too. Then you get back to the bunks. So I love the bunks in the 2810 for a couple of reasons. One, this in the industry is what we call a double over double, meaning it's double wide. Instead of being a single bunk, you essentially have almost two here on both the top and bottom. Big advantage of that is if you have older children, they can still sleep here. If they're taller, they're teenagers, that's not a problem. Or if they're younger and want to bring a friend, maybe they have a cousin or a friend from school, they want to take camping with them. You can go ahead and sleep two kids to a bunk, 300 pound weight limit on there. So uh, again, if you have two smaller kids, the beds can handle it. Also, you'll notice you have an LED light on both the top and bottom. You have a window on the top and bottom as well. But one of my favorites is the fact you have an electrical outlet on both the top and the bottom. That doesn't happen very often. Now, I know that, you know, a lot of people want to go camping to get away from electronics. I'm the same way. I completely understand. However, I'm telling you, on those rainy days, it is really nice where they have the space in the camper where they can sit down and 
you know, they can lay in their bed here, play on their iPads or their phones, whatever it may be. Gives you a little more privacy in the main living area, you know, a little bit of separation there. Uh, so I definitely think that that is a big benefit. You will also notice your privacy curtain that comes across here. Teddy Bear Bunk Series mattresses, which are nice and soft so the kids will have a good night's sleep. And a built-in ladder so you can easily get on the top bunk. A lot of manufacturers don't put a ladder in here. You kind of have to step on the bottom one and hop in, which for smaller children can be a little hard. So having that built-in ladder, again, can be a big advantage. Right across the way here is our super slide. Uh, as I mentioned, this one is in the driftwood interior, which is the pattern you see on the back here. Leather, uh, leatherette seats there, which I really like that. So, you know, for a couple reasons. One, you have kids in here. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but my kids are pretty messy. When they eat, sometimes, you know, stuff gets on their lap. And this is really easy to clean up. It's easy to wipe up. So you don't have to worry about staining anything. Also, if they come in from the beach and their shorts are wet, they can sit on here. It's not going to ruin your dinette. Uh, but the cool thing about a U-Dinette, it is bigger, so more room to sit around. A uh, bigger table here as well, so if you want to play games, you know, have enough room for everyone to sit and have a meal together, you can do that. And also a U-Dinette becomes a much larger bed. All you have to do is take these rails out, the, uh, these uh, pole, poles here, the table will sit right along the rails, fill that in with cushions, and again, it creates a big enough bed for two adults to easily sleep on. Easy storage too. You'll see you have doors on both sides of the dinette which make it very easy uh, to get down in there and access any storage rather than having to lift up the cushions. You'll see two big windows here to let in a lot of natural light during the day. LED light here at night. Tri-fold sofa. This is something that's new for Passport. Uh, in, the, in years past, this has been a jackknife, which a jackknife is great uh, for the fact that it does give you some extra storage underneath. But a trifold is a much more comfortable uh, type of sofa. Not only is it more comfortable to sit on, but it's a lot more comfortable to sleep on. This actually folds out into a real bed where you know adults can sleep, children can sleep, gives you great extra sleeping space. So you have two bunks here. You can sleep two adults in the U dinette. You know you can sleep one to two adults here too. You can sleep a small army in the 2810, which is phenomenal. Then right here is our entertainment center. You'll see up top, they give you the tinted glass there, uh, kind of give you some space for your DVD collection. TV here right underneath on a swing arm mount, so if you need to turn that toward the uh, sofa, that's not an issue. Right underneath is the multimedia center. This is your radio, CD, and DVD player. Uh, you can control the speaker zones on there as well. So if you want to watch a movie, pop it right in. You want to listen to some music on your iPad or your phone, it is Bluetooth capable, so you can hook that up to it too. Then as you take a look underneath, you will see some additional storage right over there. Let's come on up into the bedroom real quick. Uh, so a couple of quick things about the Passport bedroom. Uh, a couple of big advantages and reasons why I really enjoy it. One is the bed itself. This is a 60 by 80 residential queen bed. That's right. If you're a taller person, you're sick of your feet hanging off the bed when you go camping, you don't have to worry about it in the Passport 2810. Being that residential queen is a huge advantage. And of course, you still have storage here underneath. One of the other things I love about it, this right here, you have actual slider doors rather than a curtain. Gives you added privacy. So you go ahead and close these doors. You know, if you have extra gas to the kids, again, you know, just that added privacy makes it feel a little bit more like home. Right here is a spot for TV. So if you're one that likes to watch TV before bed, you can go ahead and mount it there. Now, if you look on either side of the bed, you will see mirrored wardrobe space. Uh, that does have your hanging rod there, of course, which is great for all of your clothes to hang on down. Uh, right below that, you have a little shelf space and you have electrical outlets on both sides of the bed. So if you need to plug in a cell phone or CPAP machine, you can do that on both sides. Across the top here, you have some additional storage with the tinted glass. Underneath, you have a couple LED reading lights. But all right, folks, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Keystone Passport 2810BH. This is a great bunk model. It has the two doors so you can easily, you know, walk into the bathroom, walk out without getting the dirt all the way through. You have the outside kitchen, nice big bunks. Both of them have electrical outlets. U-shaped dinette and a tri-fold sofa, and it's lightweight. This is one you don't want to miss out on. 
If you are interested and you'd like price and availability, you can either give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this walkthrough, be sure to join our YouTube channel. That way you'll be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.